better get out of the way or end up on a pile. All right, we are at Wheels and Waves. This is Greg, and you have a, you know, and I'm always partial to Mustangs. Uh, but it's really nice when something like this shows up because this combination for me is this is this a '66? '66. Okay. Uh, my father had bought one brand new when I was a kid, and uh, I really loved that car. And I got an opportunity to buy this one, and I had it for my son. He drove it all the way through high school. Something I just we and I uh, built together. Really appreciate. How the long car. have you had it? Since '04. It's got a 331 motor in it, uh, headers, uh, electronic ignition, you know, big carburetor. My son, when we first got the motor put together, melted. The, tires when we first bought it. Just, I mean, melted them into the ground. Just just the moment you got the car? Or as soon as we got the car with a new engine. We, that, he, that's how you break it in. That's right. Melted. Good advice. All right, right, get a brand new car, just rip it. That's right. All right. Uh, this is Greg's son. You're the dude that melted the tires. I am the dude that melted the tires. And what possessed you when you got, you know, you get a, a not a brand new car, but you get this car for the first time and you just rip it. What's the deal? Uh, well, we're putting new tires on it, so I might, might as well make sure we get the, what we uh, can out of them. So. The truth is revealed. So you wanted to get rid of the old tires. Yeah, well, it was going right into the shop to get new tires, so yeah. it's it so out. old school to just like swap the tires. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. The best way to do it is just like burn it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is David. Uh, dude, there's a part of your car that's missing. Like the uh, whole center section. You're right. <laughs> I bought it cut. Uh-huh. And uh, Was it because you couldn't afford the whole bus? <laughs> yeah, I got a dis <laughs> got a discount. Yeah. This is a little small. No, okay. it's cool. Though. What's what's the story behind this thing? Uh 48 inch wheelbase, guy cut it, uh, was gonna retire, and uh, it didn't work out for him. I bought it out of Florida mm -hmm. and had about three years. Did you ship it or drive it back? No, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't drivable to come out this way. Oh, okay. So I had it, uh, you know, trucked out. Yeah. And uh, it is how it is now. Yeah. It must have been a really short trailer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suspension. When I got it, it was up off the ground a little bit more. You could do wheelies all day long. But that gets costly after a while. <laughs> so I lowered it. Uh, put a whole new front end on it. Uh, the engine's fine. Sixteen hundred dual port. Polished it up, put all the little things all over it, sliding window in, uh, rack, uh, visor. Well, not only do you match with everything, <laughs> it, you're, you're totally Halloween now. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. It's, uh, the ride's kind of rough. It's, it's an e-ticket ride. Yeah. 40 inch wheel base, pretty rough go. Yeah. White knuckle. Nice. You know, but uh, it's fun. It's, it's actually a beach cruiser. I love it. That's really cool. You are the golden punk. Wow. Ah, thank you, thank you. This is one of the best looking guys at the show. Oh, um, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you look like you have a little bit of an issue going on, but that's, that's still not too bad. What did you bring in? I brought my uh, modified Corvair. Okay. This one right here. <laughs> I can't talk to you with that one. <laughs> What's up, Wes? What's up? Uh, so, you know, we didn't get a huge turnout today. No. But you're here. That's that's cool. I'm always here. Well, yeah. I, unless you kill me off, and then I'm not here, and then maybe I'm here. I'm not Don't sure. plant seeds in ideas in my head. <laughs> we got a, a psychology expert over here. Yeah. You know, I'm the problems. Yeah. Yeah. problems. Yeah. yeah. Uh, best of show for you. Uh, I like your new camera. That's a new good yeah. best of show. You best guys. Camera. He likes you guys. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the uh, Shorty Bus. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm also a big fan of Chuck Rust V8 Corvair. I know, I know. That thing just screams and two, it's crazy. Two amazing cars in this show. But exactly. I think personally, uh, since I've seen Chuck's car, the Shorty Bus wins it. I agree. I Although agree. I did give I give Chuck the, the pumpkin. Well, he actually decorated his car. If you look, it has a skeleton on the antenna. It has 
spiders and stuff and all the, all yeah. kinds of things all over the dash and he wore a mask. He, he made a Halloweeny. Yeah. But where I'm are you going next? I'm going to a show called Classics on the Green, which is down in Garden Grove, which is part of Silverado Days, which is a big festival for this, the whole place. All right. Check out his website, dailydriverproject.com, for cool shots from that show. Exactly. Okay. Back to the pad for a little while. I had to crash. I got up so early this morning at about three o'clock. Wasted. Slept for an extra couple hours. Expected to go to the steampunk festival. I'm not going to be able to get out there. It's just too far and I'm just too tired. So uh, instead, Kathy and I are going to go see the accountant, which is playing here in Malibu. That way we can just basically sit and not do much. It's supposed to be an awesome movie though. We'll check it out. Kathy got some new shoes. What are those? Skechers. Skechers. I think they're a little ugly. No, they're not. They're cute. I think they're a little ugly. Okay. But they're comfortable. So at times that I don't care, I'll wear them. best time to Instagram is always before a movie starts. No one There's bothers no one you. In here. I know. We got the whole theater to ourselves. We can talk really loud too. We can. Was it? It was good. Really good. Yeah. The accountant starring uh, Ben Affleck. Amazing. Uh, the guy can't do a bad movie. No. Really can't. It was really, really awesome. You know, there's very few movies you can go see nowadays that actually are worthy of the price you pay for the ticket. Most of them I would just wait for Netflix. You know what? You blew it. But I blew it. We could have gotten in for $13. Seniors. <laughs> All right, first off, let me apologize. And that is simply for the fact that I, I expected to do a lot more today than I actually did. I just wasn't really feeling that great today and sometimes when you you're burning the candle hot and you're doing a lot of things it can catch up with you and i got up way early this morning i mean like seriously early uh, to be able to finish yesterday's vlog and get two wheels and waves on time and get all the bags and everything else kind of done in, in preparation for that and by the time the show was over i got back home i literally had to go and uh, take a take a quick and by the time Kathy got back, she went down to Santa Monica, uh, met with her friend Carol, and they did a bunch of stuff, and then and then she got back, and by that by that time, we were, we were just like exhausted. So we didn't get a chance to do too much today. But the cool thing is, there's always another day. There's always going to be more stuff coming. So uh, I do have some fun stuff scheduled this week. I'm actually going to be flying out of town this week and uh, on Tuesday, so there's, there's a variety of things that are going on. But certainly, the best thing of today was that shorty bus. That was an amazing, amazing short squat, uh, tiny little Volkswagen bus. I, I love that thing. 
interior was all bamboo. There was all kinds of really, really cool stuff about that. Big thanks to everybody who came to the show today. Had a fun time. The movie, The Accountant, absolutely awesome. Highly recommended. Definitely go see it. It's not something that you should just wait until Netflix. Go to the movies, spend the big bucks, and watch this movie because it was well worth it. All right, it's about 5.30. I'm going to wrap things up because Kathy just told me uh, she's making salad pizza. And that is freaking awesome. Okay, people, that's it. More car culture happening. Thanks for watching. Be sure to friend me up on Instagram. Lots of really, really cool stuff going on. All kinds of links down below. Instagram especially. Really fun. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.